Hi, everyone. Say say hi back. Let us know that you're watching. Uh, today is just a special Saturday edition, and we're just calling this a Saturday stroll through the greenhouse. And no teaching today, no tips and tricks. It's just grabbing a cup of coffee and joining us and taking a little walk alongside of us. You just We're just going to give you a little peek into our world, uh, what it's like to be in the greenhouses. And then we're actually, I'm just going to park the the camera and Amy's over here uh, planting up some gazania plugs. We're gonna we're gonna take a look at that, but just gonna give you a little look around the greenhouse. Just a very chill Saturday stroll, and uh, you can hear the sounds. Uh, it, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, just sitting in the greenhouse, it's nice, it's warm. That sun's coming in. The heaters are still kicking on a little bit, but the sun is out, so the te the temperature is rising in here. But I, you know, the other day we, we could hear the, the birds, uh, singing. Uh, they were, you could hear the, uh, cardinals. Uh, it was, it's just, it's really kind of serene. So we, we're, we are very blessed to be doing what we do. We, en we enjoy what we do. And we're just going to take a little stroll here and show you around the greenhouses. So grab your cup of coffee, join with us. We'll try to keep the talking to a minimum. You're just walking next to us. Okay, so we're just going to walk through these back two greenhouses and you can see that they are really starting to fill up. And it's only been a week and a half, I guess. This is our first full week and you can see the hanging baskets are hung. We still have a little bit of room, but not much. So we got several thousand geraniums here. And we have them spaced. I know kind of looks like Arlington Cemetery with all those tags. And now we get into begonias, tuberous begonias. Let's see if we can find any peaks of color. I haven't seen too much yet. This is the fun time where everything is just setting buds. You can see just a little bit, just some buds there. <clears throat> oh, I see some color over here. Ah, so our first little peaks of color on some tuberous begonias. Try to get up high so we can see the hanging baskets. They're just, they're growing nicely. They're kind of up and out of the way. Yesterday I watered and fertilized. So I'm not worried about today, about watering. Everything should be good. This is going to be kind of a light day for us. And my mom, she was looking to help us, so she came in and she spaced all these begonias and she, she did a fabulous job. So thanks, mom. <clears throat> the 
this is Lantana over here. Lantana is very popular for us because it is deer and drought resistant. The deer do not like Lantana, so we sell a lot of it. These benches were all full of plugs this week, and we cranked out a lot of planting. So these benches are empty, and that was really, really nice to do, because usually by this time of year already, I'm getting really behind. But this is uh, these are gazania plugs. So this is what Amy is planting up right now, and I'll take you over by her. So there's just a few more plug trays of gazanias to plant up. Got all these hanging baskets sitting on the bench. Those have to go to our front greenhouses, but we're not quite ready yet. These are all the coleus plugs for the bedding plants. So we got an early batch in of these and we're gonna get these planted up. These are the Rex begonias. These are really unique. If you have a shade area, these do fantastic. Hi, Samantha. I see Samantha's watching. That is our daughter, Samantha. These are salvia. If you want the bees and the butterflies and the pollinators, the hummingbirds, this is the number one for us is these salvia. These salvia turn out fabulous. Some purple fountain grass here. 
my shady spot for our fuchsia baskets, hanging baskets. They're in the shade on this very back wall. They need to be in shade. You cannot bend the rules with fuchsias. They will burn. Those little leaves will burn. So they're just getting started. We gave them a pinch this week. And you can see, look at the growth. I just pinched these. There's already new little leaves formed where I pinched it. Take a look at that. That's how fast that they'll grow. And I pinch them because I want them to bush out and get fuller. These are, they're like mini sunflowers. They don't get one sunflower, they get, the whole plant is just loaded with sunflowers and they're, they're a hot seller for us. Uh, we sell out every year right away, but it's called Sunfinity and you can see what that looks like. And this whole plant, and it grows, it's, it's a shorter sunflower, so it only gets about three feet tall and the entire thing is just gets loaded with these pretty little sunflowers so these are just baby ones we just planted these we get them going early big big seller for us for mother's day these are pentas this is the graffiti mix. Pentas is another one for the pollinators. If you go to any of the like butterfly, uh, we like going up to like, Mackinac Island to the, uh, the butterfly house up there. And then we were just in a butterfly place down in Aruba and everybody seems to have Pentas. So it just a, a really good one for having getting the butterflies to come in. They love the pentas. Okay, so here is our gazania flats and gazanias are another very popular bedding plant for us. And I'll just show you the tag. I mean, they are a very, very happy looking uh, little bedding plant. Drought tolerant, uh, easy to grow. But for us, they take a, they take a long time because they need a lot of heat and a lot of sun. So we have to get them going early because they're just very uh, slow to grow. So this is what Amy's planting up right now. And I'll show you that. She's planting up these gazania plugs. But this is one of the first things that we have to bring in because they are slow growing. And boy, if you have a spring where you don't have sun, it shows up here because they need that hot, they need the sunlight and they need uh, lots of heat. So we can we can turn the heaters up and, and get them get them to grow, but they will not flower unless they have that sunlight. So sometimes that messes with you. If you have a spring where you have two three weeks of just real rainy weather, uh, the the gazanias aren't going to do their thing. So that's why we like to get them going early. You want to explain popping plugs in? Yep, so they're just little tiny plugs and um, these happen to have, the seeds are so small that there's two plants growing in almost every single one of them. So I'm just paying attention, pulling them out. You can see that one just has one and taking them apart and making two plants. Getting double plants in your purchases is always nice, but it's not great for the plant itself it doesn't give each other enough room to grow so they kind of stunt each other so I'm just taking them apart planting both of them squishing them I'll end up tagging this uh, we didn't expect them to have doubles so I don't have enough tags so I'm just doing one at the end and we'll retake all of them as soon as we get those new tags in and um, then we flood it with water so that all the soil kind of builds up 
and goes over any roots that are exposed because we want those underneath the soil. So Scott's going to park the camera. Yep. And, and this one is the Kiss Mix Gazanias. Yep. So it's just a mix of different ones, but like I said, they're they're very happy little flowers. So, yep, I'm just going to park the camera. And some people request that we don't talk at all and just watch us work. So we want to work for a while. Yeah. Okay. You are all set. Alright. You'll see me walk away and go into different areas to get new trays or hear the benches sliding and banging and that's all normal greenhouse sounds, so enjoy it. And then Scott, um, Alex needs the scan form for mail. Yep. You do that. And is the machine loaded? some music playing however with videotaping it the video copyright infringements come into play so we are just going to be in the quietness of the greenhouse in our own thoughts
So if your coffee's all finished, I hope you have a great rest of a Saturday morning. Uh, we'll see you again on Monday.